last year. We had 84 stalls last year and this year we've got 122 Sunshine Coast food and food related enterprises. I think a lot of people have realised that they're so disconnected from the sources of their food and they're also not sure what it is that they're eating and what they're feeding their children. So I think the whole term real food is resonating with a lot of people who want to find out what it is that they can do to nourish their family as best they can. I love some of our native products because that's real food. For instance, the kakatoo plum is 959 times higher than the blueberry in antioxidants. 950 times, nine times. And yet they say the blueberry is a superfood. So some of our native products are indeed superfoods. Real food is what food is all about, as opposed to uh, junk food and fast food. So today we've got a wonderful demonstration of all of the uh, local produce and indeed the way in which some of that local produce is uh, manufactured into uh, product for the end consumer. Uh, so I think it's, it's a wonderful example of just what's available uh, in this region, in our hinterland on the Sunshine Coast. But more importantly, there's also a demonstration of how a lot of that produce can get to market. And that's what's really crucial as well, to give the producer an opportunity, uh, particularly in niche marketing, to get their product to the consumer. Yeah, it's cool, eh? Really distinct flavour, so... The, the, the economy of Malayani in the hinterland is very dependent on its agriculture, but also on tourism. And this is a blending of those two very important industries together. to the Rockley markets south of Brisbane and uh, a lot of people are very nervous about that and I think this, uh, this resurgence again in, in people wanting to make sure that we have food security and I like to build on that and talk about food sovereignty so that we have the, the opportunity to grow what we want and for us to produce what we need for our local community and not be dictated to about that.